within uncharted territory, you know, the, there was never a, a, an expectation until recently that any country would try to leave the EU. There are really no rules for what happens now. We know, you know, if you look at the, the relationship the Channel Islands have with the European Union, uh, with, uh, you know, the, the precedents of Greenland and, and, and Denmark, not none of them absolutely identical to Scotland, but they do demonstrate that where there's a will, there can be a way of being flexible. I, I believe Scotland should be independent. I don't think I'm telling anybody anything they didn't already know. We're talking, of course, now about the specific circumstances brought about by the Brexit vote. I didn't choose those circumstances, but they're the ones I'm having to deal with. Now, if it is the case that the UK is going to be taken out of the single market, I don't actually believe there's a mandate for that, incidentally. If it's the case that reasonable proposals that Scotland puts forward to try to uh, protect our own interests are, are not listened to, then yes, I do think Scotland would have the right to make a decision about whether it wanted to stay with a UK that was heading over a, a cliff economically, because I think that's what it would be doing, or whether Scotland wanted to choose a different path. I, I think it is the right of people in Scotland in those circumstances to have that choice. If we can find a way of keeping ourselves in the single market, let's explore that. Am I going to stop believing that Scotland should be an independent country? No, uh, I think Scotland will become independent in, in the future. This is about the here and now.